Well, good morning, folks. Uh, actually, probably not morning. It's more like afternoon now. Uh, it's around, uh, I guess, around lunch, 12 o'clock, somewhere in there. And uh, me and my brother were out in the uh, in an area here. Uh, well, the place, same place you see me go all the time. Uh, but we're going to go to a slightly different area that I've been to uh, before. And uh, we're going to set up camp for an overnighter. So uh, first, we're going to hit the trail a little bit, see what we got. And um, But before I start to move on, uh, I'm going to give you a quick 360 to this beautiful place. It's just awesome here. All right, coming to the second little creek crossing. I'll give you a look at it right down here. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Then we got a nice little hike up the hill here, and then hopefully we can find a nice decent spot to set up camp. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this done without dying. So all right guys, it appears that we found our spot that we're gonna stay for the night. Looks pretty good. We got a couple of standing deads over here, uh, but uh, small ones. We're just gonna do a little tour around the area to make sure there's no uh, large standing deads uh, for trees to fall on us while we're in our hammocks. I take this thing off for a second. Oh. I'll give you a quick look at my idea. We have one little tree that's sitting in the middle there for some reason. I don't know what we're gonna do with that, if we're gonna leave it or not. <laughs> my brother's knocking down trees. <laughs> anyway, we got one little uh, tree hanging out in the middle here. I think I'm gonna leave it there. Um, but uh, anyway, I'll give you a quick uh, look at the idea. All right, guys, first hammock is gonna be hung from this tree to this tree. And the second one is gonna be hung from the same tree over to the one just over here. Uh, if that's not any good, then I have one that's in line with the um, uh, with the camera, uh, <laughs> right along where the camera is. Just gotta clear out a little bit of brush, but uh, we got the tools for that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Sorry, guys. I've got my, uh, my camera crew. We're gonna go ahead and set this guy up. Uh, I've had a couple of requests to uh, do a bit of a review on this. So uh, I'll do a bit of a setup and uh, we'll check in at nighttime and we'll talk about how, how, how I slept in the morning. Sorry about the four-wheelers, guys. This guy's ripping up through the trails here. And uh, mosquitoes are pretty bad, so I did bring along my uh, mosquito net and my python straps. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up first, but before we do that, I got a little bit of brush to clear out of the way first, and then we'll, uh, we'll get into the setup. Sorry, guys. We're gonna start with our python straps. Give you a quick look at these. I'll leave that one in the pack for now. So they're 10 feet long. They've got a loop on the end. See that? On both ends is the same thing. They got a loop. And then every four inches, uh, where is it here? Yeah, starting from here, every four inches, it's got a, a loop so you could adjust your hang. So uh, I'll go ahead and wrap it around this first tree and then we'll move on to the next tree and get that uh, prepared and then we'll see how, how it looks. I'll go ahead and go do the next one, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll pull out the hammock and see how that works. So all right, I'll just go ahead, click it on. It's that simple. Uh, I do like my hammock to have a, a deep hang, so I can get a good uh, 45 degree lie inside of it, and that way I lie perfectly flat. So um, let's go ahead and get that other side. I'll get that other side hooked up, and then uh, I'll give you a look at it. There we go, guys. Hammock's all set up. Uh, I'm just gonna hop into it, see how it feels. Make sure we're, uh, we're pretty much level. Uh, make sure I don't have anything in my pockets that's gonna puncture anything. And then we'll, uh, we'll continue on. If you're a cat and you didn't bring a chair with you, Take your two ends, fold them in half, lay them right down. Now you got a seat to sit on, you're comfortable. You can hang out like this for the whole day and you don't have to build a chair or anything fancy or whatever it is, you're golden like this. So, just wanted to give you this quick look. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and set up the mosquito net. Uh, once the mosquito net is on, this becomes a little bit more difficult. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make my, uh, 
set my mosquito net up and then hopefully uh, we don't have too much of an issue with bugs. All right. So I've already opened up the mosquito net. Unfortunately, I got a little carried away, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and set the mosquito net up. Still have some leaves in there from my last camp actually, <laughs> but uh, it's okay. So find, find your area where you're gonna be getting in. Make sure you got the zipper on the right side. So there it is. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna detach one end of the, um, I'm gonna detach one end of the carabiner, and then I'm gonna pull this through, and then we're gonna go ahead and set up a, uh, a ridge line. So all right guys, we got the, uh, both the hammocks set up and ready to go. Looks like it's gonna be a decent night. So I'll uh, give you a little close up of what I've done here, and then uh, that'll be that. So uh, here, check this out. So as you can see here guys, I got the, uh, the little, little clip sitting up on the, uh, on the ridge line, and I've just folded my tarp back and uh, when I'm getting ready to, I've just folded my tarp back and when I'm getting ready to sleep, I'll just pull this back over, peg it down and keep some of my heat in and that'll be that. I'm just gonna get my sleeping bag set up in there, get ready to, uh, get ready to let it uh, fluff it out and make sure we get some uh, good sleep. Uh, Here's a quick look at the grand trunk, it's all set up. He's got his uh, under blanket, under quilt on. He's ready to go for the night and he'll do the same thing, just flipping over the, um, just flipping over the hammock and he'll be ready to go for, uh, for tonight too. I ask him to go get some wood. So what does he do? He pushes down the tree and comes back with another one. It's great camping with a bear. So this happens to be probably my favorite fire lay uh, out of all of them. Um, I like to put my two sticks, I pile all my, my small twigs on top and then when I'm ready I just light my fire, I lift it all up and I drop it over and it gets the job done every single time. In my loadout video I was talking about using my Leatherman saw uh, for a ferro rod striker. Now I'll put this down for one second, I'll show you the difference. This is my Triple my, uh, X Sitka, it's got a very good uh, 90 degree spine on it and It'll throw sparks quite nicely. But I think the Leatherman saw might even be better. So um, anyway, this is usually my go-to, although the Sitka is pretty good. So I've got a small little pile of, uh, of uh, birch here and I'll uh, light that up, then I'll put the thicker stuff on top and then we'll pull the whole, uh, the whole um, fire lay over the fire and get it started. So here we go. Got some little pieces going. Oh, I just put it up. Oh, no, I didn't. There we go. There we go. So we'll give that a second. While that's uh, catching, we'll make sure we put all our tools away so we don't lose them. Ferro rods back in the pocket. Now we'll grab our fire lay, lift it up, drop it right over the top, and the fire's good to go. So the next time you guys are out, if you get an opportunity to try this method out, I, uh, I highly recommend it. It's probably my favorite out of all of them to get something started, and uh, especially for cooking and that kind of thing. Um, you're, you're, you're really off to the races with, uh, with this kind of setup. So give it a try. As I may or may not have shown you earlier on, I don't remember, but uh, we brought a couple of beers uh, today. We're going to split this one here. This is a cream, called Cremor Springs. It's actually a very, very nice beer. Uh, I've had this a couple times already. So we're going to have this as kind of a, uh, a warm up to lunch while we're waiting for our coals to burn down so I can get the grill on, get our Italian sausages going. So uh, I'm going to split this with my brother and uh, I'll get back to you on how tasty it is. There's our lunch going. Unfortunately, this little guy got suicidal and jumped into the fire, but I saved him. So, uh... All right, guys. So here we got lunch. Two, uh, two Italian sausages with some sauerkraut, some West Island Fire spicy habanero mustard. 
in some Italian buns, and uh, this is going to be damn great, I'm telling you. It was a hard, hard hike in here, and there was a lot of uh, camp prep setting things up, and uh, we're due for a good lunch. And we're also due for a good dinner, and that's coming later on. Wait till you see that. That's going to be awesome. Sorry guys, while we're out here, I want to just let you know about how I uh, how I handle ticks out here. Um, alongside of my uh, my tick removal stuff, like my uh, my tick remover um, and my uh, tweezers from my um, Swiss Army knife, <clears throat> uh, I also use uh, one of these little lint removers. I keep this in my pack. Uh, once I get out uh, in the woods, you're not always depending on the color of the clothes you're wearing. You're not always going to see them. Uh, and some of them are really small. I don't even realize that they're there. And uh, this can be a big help. So um, I'm just going to give myself a quick roll down and uh, see if we come up with anything. So once you're done, you can have a look at your, uh, at your, pli at your paper. If there's nothing on there, then you're good. No ticks. Uh, if they're not, if there are some, you just take that thing, peel it off, chuck that in the fire, and then you're clean You're clean, and you're good to go. And you don't have to worry about the, the ticks or the, even the small ones that you can't see. So you can get pretty much all around your lower body. And if you're really flexible, you could probably get your back as well. Carry one in your pack. It weighs nothing, and they're only like a buck at the dollar store. So totally worth it. See if we can puncture this can a little bit. Yeah. That's in there. There's one in there. <clears throat> so I picked up that slingshot a few years back uh, just to uh, shoot around, have some fun while we're out in the woods. Uh, Usually I use it in winter time when we try to shoot little puffs of snow off of branches and stuff, but uh, it's kind of fun to bring it out when you're when you're out uh, doing stuff and you got some downtime and all your all your prep is done and you just want to have some fun. Break that out, break out the big knife, start chucking it against tree. Good times. So surprise, surprise! Can you hear it? Yep, rain again. I can't seem to get out without the rain. So just running around real quick to collect some uh, tinder, some sticks and, and whatnot for uh, tomorrow morning when we wake up for breakfast. So at least we'll have something uh, dry to get a fire started with so we can have our, uh, our eggs and bacon. So uh, that said, um, got to get to work. Sorry guys, we got enough uh, sticks piled up for our breakfast tomorrow. Uh, kept them dry under the tarps so it should be all right. Uh, one thing we are going to do, though, uh, still, is um, we still got to cook our supper, and uh, we got a good rain going on. Uh, we got our uh, we got our tinder, we got our sticks, we got our birch bark, uh, all that stuff is ready to go. So uh, now we just got to uh, set up our grill and get cooking, eat our steak. Uh, turns out we fried our mess kit. <laughs> There's always something. So um, we're going to basically be eating it uh, caveman style. We're going to eat it right off the grill. And uh, we're going to carve ourselves some sticks so we can be able to stab it and pick it up. You know, kind of like you just harpooned a, harpooned a deer or something. Like you got it on a, on a branch. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to finish just doing a quick tidy up around camp uh, while, the, while the steaks are cooking. And then uh, we'll get down to the nitty gritty and have some, have some supper. Should be pretty good. Oh, yeah. That ain't going to take long to cook. Steak number one. Steak number two. This is how you have to do if you forget mess kit. Mm. 
This is called the Canadian tripod technique. One stick, one hand on the bone, and you lead it into your mouth. Mmm. This is how we do up here. Canadian tripod technique. Don't forget it. Sorry guys, as you saw, I still got the uh, the food bag all hung up. Uh, we're not in um, in bear country or anything like that, but uh, it's always a good practice to uh, to get your food and your garbage hung up uh, at nighttime, uh, just to make sure that uh, you don't have little critters coming into your into your camp. Uh, even raccoons and coyotes and things like that can uh, can really mess your stuff up uh, <laughs> while you're out. So it's always good practice to hang up your hang up your food, get it out of the way, and it avoids uh, at the at the minimum it avoids damage to your to your kit. So, so I'm uh, figuring it's somewhere around uh, well it's almost seven o'clock. Things are really winding down. Both of us are exhausted. It's a pretty rough hike in here. We had to go up and down hills and all that stuff to get here. Uh, now that we're here, uh, both of us are kind of uh, I guess dead. <clears throat> we could uh, you probably go to sleep pretty soon believe it or not but uh if i go to bed now i'll be waking up at like three o'clock in the morning so that ain't gonna be good so uh, i guess for the time being we're just gonna hang out for a little bit you know uh, just take it easy and uh the rain stopped we got our food hung up and uh just about there everything's ready we got some sticks and fire uh, sticks and uh and some tinder ready to uh start a fire tomorrow morning in case it rains under the tarps basically just let the fire burn down take it easy and go to sleep so um I'll check in a little bit later. I got my GoPro inside of my uh, inside of my hammock, so in case uh, anything pops up, we'll be able to get some footage. Uh, but besides that, that's about it. Sorry, guys. I'm turning in for the night. Been a considerable drop in temperature. It's gotten real cold. So I got my sleeping bag. I'm really comfortable. Under blankets doing its job. So next time you see me, it'll be morning. Take care. Good morning, my friends. It is around uh, 6 a.m., maybe 6.15. Poured rain all night. You hear it's still raining now. You guys know I just can't get a nice day outside without rain. Just won't, won't happen. So, the hammock and the under blanket, everything performed flawlessly. I'm nice and toasty. Uh feeling pretty good I slept directly against the uh, the hammock Ooh. pardon me I slept directly against the hammock um, with the uh, sleeping bag just on top of me like a blanket I figured there's no other better way to test your under blanket than than making it keep you warm right and uh, I did the trick fine uh, the one fail I did have though was the tarp um, I really wasn't expecting the tarp to stretch this much. Uh, when I went to bed, the, the tarp was nice and taut. There was no uh, sag in it at all. Uh, I even gave it a little bit of a test with some water to see if the water would just pour right off and come down the side here. I kept having to wake up uh, at nighttime and dump the tarp. Look how much this free soldiers tarps uh, stretches. Look at that. The other one over on the other side doesn't have that problem. My other 10 by 10 that just stays up just nicely. Uh, hopefully you could see that over there. But this one keeps pooling and I dumped that just minutes ago. Uh, you see that all that water in there. So for me I find that's a a major issue with tarp especially if you're gonna be uh, hammock camping you want to be able to set up and that's it um, probably if you're gonna be doing any kind of camping your best bet with this tarp would be an a-frame and uh, that's about it because everything else is just gonna pull right up just stretches too much but anyway I'm gonna lie around here for a little bit while oh my goodness <sighs> So I'm going to lie around here for a little while longer. I just don't feel like getting up. So I'm going to lie around here for a little while longer. And uh, I'll bring it back when we're ready to get breakfast ready. So 
So we're just sitting here, feeling a little warmth from the fire. The uh, the rain came down. <laughs> it came down. They were saying they're supposed to be in between one and two millimeters, uh, maybe a five uh, millimeters over over the, uh, the the night, and then partially into to, into today. Uh, it is not raining now, but the heavens opened up last night and poured on us. The two tarps, this tarp actually, was the one that kept us awake <laughs> because it kept on filling up and then dumping. <clears throat> Mine, on the other hand, filled up to a point where I couldn't even look out my bug net anymore because the tarp was in the way. And I probably had about <coughs> three or four gallons of water in there. <clears throat> and uh, last night, the um, when I set this tarp up, this tarp up was, was perfectly tight just before I went to bed. And I think all the bank line is all stretched out now. And uh, anyway, didn't have too bad of a sleep though. I was pretty comfortable for the most part. I woke up quite a few times uh, to, go to, to go to the bathroom, unfortunately. Listening to all that pouring water all night long probably wasn't the best thing, but you know how it is. So we got our fire going here. We're probably gonna cook some breakfast, uh, slowly pack up and then head on out of here. Um, All right, because we we forgot our our mess kits, we're just kind of uh, cooking the bacon and uh, eating it off the grill. Well, this is what we got here. Some, uh, my opinion, that's perfectly executed bacon. I don't like it too crunchy. I don't like it too fatty. It's got to bend, but still be tasty. Mm. Got our scrambled eggs going, bacon's all gone. It was delicious, loved every second of it. But, time to chow this down, then we're gonna break camp and head on out. So uh, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later, but uh, I really wanna heat my breakfast. So all right guys, we're packing up, we're hitting the road. Uh, we broke camp, took care of everything. One last thing we have to do is just uh, get this fire uh, finished and put out, it's just coals, just smoldering. But we're gonna run down to the creek, pour some water on it, and then uh, hit hit the trails again, or actually just find a trail, because we're not even on a trail. And then uh, meet up with a ride. So thanks for, uh, thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video. And um, discovered halfway through the thing that uh, I had forgotten to turn on my mic again so I lost a whole bunch of footage so uh, I'm gonna see what I can get out of it and hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video so anyway see you again soon get out and explore and uh, just have fun man take care